hey, I know it's late. I know, whatever. But if you knew the day I had from the moment I woke up until right now, you'd get it. Okay, you'd get it. But it's still day six of 30 days of victorious thoughts. And today, be joyful always. Be joyful always. So for the joy of the Lord is your strength. Nehemiah 8, 10. In Psalms, David said, I will bless the Lord, bless the Lord at all times. Uh-uh. Right. Mm -hmm. And he said, and his praise shall continually be in my mouth. Uh, 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 yeah, his praise shall continually be in my mouth. And at all times means in the good times and in the bad times. And the Bible tells us to stay full of joy no matter what we're facing because the joy of the Lord is our source of strength and the enemy knows it. He knows that if he can get you down and discouraged before long, you'll be weak and feeble and he'll be easily able to defeat you. When you're full of joy and you have a good attitude, you keep yourself strong. That positive attitude of faith paves the way for God to work miracles in your life. It paves the way for God to turn your situation around. Decide today to have a good attitude. Keep yourself full of his joy by meditating on the goodness and promises of God. Be full of the joy of the Lord. You'll soon experience supernatural strength and discover the victorious life God has planned for you. So again, even though it's late, here's our prayer for the rest of the day. Dear Father, thank you for filling my life with joy. Thank you that I am blessed and cannot be cursed. Thank you that in all things you cause me to triumph. Thank you for your strength within me that comes from that joy. I bless you today and rejoice in your goodness. All right, so be joyful always, no matter what. I know it's hard. I know it's hard. I know it's hard, but find that little joy somewhere. All right, you guys, thank you so much. I'll see you on day seven, a little early, I promise. <laughs>